What's going on my fellow knights? My name is Gallant Gaming. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are back in the Piggy new skin roleplay in Roblox. And there are two brand new badges out now. They are Let's Rock. Thanks for finding them. Now I can see better. And Glam Freddy. I didn't see that. Anyway, what a nice present. So I'm going to be showing you how to get both of them in this video. But before we get started, make sure you are subscribed and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of my daily videos. And whenever you're buying Robux, use star code GALLANT. Uh, also, I do have a video showing you how to get every other badge before these two, so definitely check that out as well. Alright, so for Let's Rock, you want to head into the morph room right here. Uh, you can tell because it has Batman out front or because it just says morphs, whichever, I don't know. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and go to this little portal picture over here. It does take you to a different game, but don't worry, you can still get this badge there. So we're going to step on it and get teleported. All right, so when you go through that teleporter, you'll have to pick a chapter to start in. You do want to do chapter one for the Let's Rock badge, and you're going to see in a second, it's going to be exactly like Piggy. So to get the badge, it is towards the end. You want to make sure you don't beat the map because the badge is there towards the end, like I said. Uh, and it's, uh, it, it, you'll see. I'll show you. So we're just going to start beating the map like we would any normal piggy game. Going to grab the key. Excuse me, good sir. And we're going to take, oh, uh, we won't worry about that picture. We're going to take the red key all the way upstairs. And we're just gonna, we're gonna get all the items. We're gonna get all the items. Easy peasy. Oh, yeah. Also, you want to make sure you don't fall. Uh, if you fall down, you will die. Uh, and then, of course, if you die, whether you fall or you die to Piggy, you will have to restart from the beginning. So make sure you don't do that because uh, no one wants to restart. Excuse me, good sir. Don't mind me. So we're gonna take the blue key out back to the shed. Also, I'm pretty sure the items spawn in the same spots every time, if I'm not mistaken. So, I'm gonna... Oh, come on. Come, there we go. I'm gonna take the wrench over to the front door right here. Pretty easy. Boop. And we do need the wrench again a little bit later. Uh, so, don't throw it in the trash. Don't lose it. It is pretty important. I'm gonna grab the board that's back here. And I'm gonna leave the wrench back here as well. Boop. There we go. Easy peasy. Not even a challenge. Also, it definitely helps that the person who's playing Piggy is not killing me. Definitely, uh, definitely appreciate that. Really, really appreciate it. So, let's go ahead and take the board up here. I don't think we can do anything else up here yet. Uh, because we do need the orange key for that. But I don't know where the orange key is. So, uh, is it in here? It is not. That's the hammer. I don't want that. I want the orange key. Where is it? Who has it? It's not in there. Okay, well, it's got to be out here somewhere. Does someone have it? Is someone someone hiding it from me? I'd appreciate it if he didn't hide the key from me. Is it in here? No, that's the green key. Don't know what this is for, but I'll take it anyway. Hey, you have it. What are you doing? Come on. Let's go. All right, uh, you have the wrench again. Come on, follow me. Follow me, good sir. Follow me, or madam, I don't know, or anything, whatever. All right, so he has the orange key. We're going to bring it up here and open this door right here. Sir, please. Need that, uh, need that orange key in your hand. You just need to bring it right here. I beg you, please. Oh, goodbye. Sir, please, I'm begging you. Just bring it right there. Hey, thank you so much. There's the crossbow. Uh, we need the wrench for right here. And using the wrench there should turn the lasers off in here. What happened? There you go. You have the wrench. You got to use it here. Hey, there you go. All right, don't turn it back on. You'll kill me. Is it? Is it off? Mm. I'm scared. It was not off. Okay. 
So I'll make sure I turn it off. You want to make sure this light is red. Uh, because if it's not red, you won't be able to get through. Even if the lasers aren't there, uh, they'll be invisible and they'll still get you. So we're going to go in there. We're going to grab the purple key. I'm scared to drop down because I don't want to die. So I'm just going to take the purple key to the basement. Uh, shout out to this guy for letting me do this to get the badge. Really appreciate it. Oh, someone zapped him. Why? He was helping. Uh, let's see. Uh, where are we? Where are we going? What's going on down here? Hey, there we go. That's what we need. Oh, oh, I, I would like that. All right. So you want to go in the basement and get the black key. Now is when you're going to be able to get the badge. So you want to take the black key all the way upstairs. Follow me, good sir. Follow, follow me, please. I'll, uh, I'll show you where that goes if you follow me, I think. I'm pretty sure, like 90% sure that it goes up here. I do have to double check though, because I could be wrong. Uh, actually, I think I'm wrong. Oh wait, no I'm not, it goes in here. It goes in here. See, I know, I know what I'm doing. Use the black key on this door, open it. You will get this little cutscene. Uh, don't walk into whatever that creature is. It might kill you. We're gonna go around it, and boom! There are the glasses for the Let's Rock badge. Whew, finally! That took a while to get, but we finally got it. So, let me go ahead back to the normal game, and I will be right back. Alright, so after you get back in the game, after getting and touching the sunglasses, you don't have to escape if you don't want you can literally just leave the game and rejoin this one. So we're going to head back here into this badge area. And we're going to go right to Monty right here. Montgomery the Gator. And we're going to run in and touch it. And boom! We're the alligator. And you'll get the actual badge in this game. But you do need the badge in the other game in order to get it. So there he is. That's crazy. Also, look at that. Very nice. Got a little jumping animation and a bunch of cool stuff. Very, very nice. All right, so the next badge is called Glam Freddy. So to get this badge, you do want to be any kind of morph that can jump super high. Uh, I recommend getting the Batman morph right there. Uh, it can jump really high and it is super useful. Uh, so, see, we need something that can jump like this. I don't know what other morph can do it besides Batman, so we're just gonna stick with Batman. Or Bat Pig, I don't know. So after you become Batman, you wanna go into this little area here with the fence. And we're not going in the fence, so don't worry. We're just going all the way to the back towards that big wall right there. And there is gonna be like a little invisible path that we could go on. So let's just go ahead and start looking for it. Uh, it should be towards the center a little bit. You might have to look for it a little, or if you get close enough, you can see the little outline of it. I don't know if you guys can see it, but uh, there is a little outline, and all we gotta do is jump into it, and jump through, and we're in. We did it. Alright, now we're gonna go through here. It's not really a maze. All you gotta do is just follow it all the way to the end. We're gonna go all the way down there. But make sure you don't fall off. You gotta wait just till the end. And we're just gonna walk off the edge. Just like that. Easy peasy. Not even a challenge. Not even a challenge for a bat pig such as myself. Also, I like how he has a little, uh, little part of a beard here going. Very nice. Very nice touch. Alright, so when you get to the end of this little path, you want to go to the corner right here. And all we're going to do is slowly walk off. And then, ooh, we almost didn't make it. And then you should land on this little obby parkour area. Jump to the end, and you'll get teleported in this little Freggy slash FNAF zone. And again, all you got to do is go on this table at the presence. Just walk on it, walk through it, and boom, you'll get Glam Rock Freddy. You'll see this cutscene, and you'll get the badge. Very nice. I'm gonna go. Oh, it's not. I'm not gonna reset because it kills you. Great. 
So to get this morph, you want to head back to where we got Montgomery Gator. Back through here, back behind this guy. Uh, and we're going to go all the way down there. It's right next to him. You can't miss it. And we're going to become him and see how cool it looks. I'm excited. So here we go. Oh. And, oh, I think we got to leave the game and rejoin. So be right back. All right. I don't know why that's a thing. But if you end up getting the badge in the game, you do have to leave and rejoin or join a different server in order to get access to the morph. The only reason why Monty worked is because we technically got it in a different game. So it worked the first try. So again, we do got to do that. Since we reset, we're able to come in and we are now Glam Rock Freddy. That's insane. Glam Rock Freddy and Monty look so good. That is very awesome. You can see how far the developer has come after making the Freggy animatronics. Look at that. That is very cool. Look at that. Very nice. I think, if I'm not mistaken, this is one of the first games that you can get Glamrock Freddy and Monty in. Correct me if I'm wrong. But anyway, this is where we're going to end today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, leave a like and a comment down below. And of course, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of my daily FNAF videos or Piggy videos. And whenever you're buying Robux or Premium, use star code GALLANT. And that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video tomorrow. Bye!